Today I will be showing you the full specifications of the Moto E4 launching at Metro PCS on July 31st. Now this is from an awesome source, tmobilenews.com. This is basically the company that owns Metro PCS, so this is a viable source. Before the video starts, I would like to have your opinions stated in the comments down below. Are you guys going to pick this phone up? Why or why not? I would really like to know. I'm personally going to definitely pick this phone up for the price. It's amazing. And yeah, guys, stay tuned. <laughs> We have a lot of confusion uh, going on with this phone. A lot of you think we're gonna get a fingerprint sensor and I just really wanna clear this up for you guys. Now this is actually on Timo News. This is T-Mobile's website. And basically this is gonna be the official specs that we are gonna be receiving on the E4. Obviously you guys know, and if you didn't know, Metro PCS is actually um, connected to T-Mobile. So it's their prepaid brand. So Metro PCS is basically T-Mobile, but this is what T-Mobile has to say about the official specs of the Moto E4. So it says Metro PCS's smartphone lineup doesn't currently include any Motorola hardware, but that will change soon. The Moto E4 will launch at Metro PCS on July 31st. Its suggested retail price will be about $129, but Metro PCS's customers can snag it for $49 plus tax after instant rebate. Now it says switchers can get the Moto E4 from Metro PCS for even less. Metro says that for a limited time, switchers can get the Moto E4 for zero dollars. They do have to pay the tax when the port when they port in their number. Uh, it also says the specs down here. Now this is what you guys have been waiting for: is the specifications of the phone. A lot of people have been saying that you will be getting a fingerprint sensor on this phone, but here are the official specs of the Moto E4 at Metro PCS. So it says specs for the Moto E4 include Android 7.1.1 running on a 5 inch 1280 by 720 display. Uh, it also has an 8 megapixel rear and 5 megapixel front facing camera as well as 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage and it will be expandable uh, I think up to 128 gigabytes. It doesn't say it officially on here, but I think it's 128 gigabytes. It says also included is a removable 2800 milliamp battery. Okay, now a lot of you have been stating that we are probably going to get the fingerprint sensor, but that is some false news. Now, I looked at the Moto E4 commercial and it didn't state anything about a fingerprint sensor as well as there were no visuals on a fingerprint sensor. Where the fingerprint sensor would be, there was a Moto uh, kind of brand right there at the bottom of the screen. So that even clears it up more. I do not think we're going to have a fingerprint sensor on this phone, but I really don't think it matters, honestly, for $49. If you guys really do want a fingerprint sensor on a phone for cheap, just get the Z Max Pro or another phone. But if this really is going to mess it up, um, then yeah, go with another phone. Honestly, this is going to be an amazing phone for $49. I'm going to personally pick it up, unbox and review for you guys. But that shouldn't ruin it for you guys. Also, $0 for port in, that's a awesome price uh, these specs are really a budget killer uh, if you look at them that two gigabytes of ram we're also gonna have the most updated uh, software running on this phone uh, as well as a 720p screen that doesn't really um, it doesn't really take away from it I know you guys like 1080p screens but there's really not that much of a difference between 1080 and 720 so if you guys are wanting to pick up this phone I would say it's a go. Honestly, the specs are looking good on this phone. Everything is looking nice. And if you guys really do want to try something else other than maybe a Samsung or a ZTE or something, you guys can go try out Motorola if you haven't yet. So you guys now have a lot of variety on Metro PCS. And Motorola is a very, very good brand. Always has been. I've been with them since the Motorola Razr as my first phone. So yeah, guys, uh, I would definitely go ahead and pick this up. Really seems like an awesome deal. But yeah, guys, this has been the official specs of the Moto E4. 
launching at Metro PCS on July 31st. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, please leave a like down below as well as subscribing to the Tech Right channel if you guys have not did so already. But yeah, guys, wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. Do not worry. This is going to be a great phone. <laughs> Peace out, guys. This has been Tech Right.